That's why, you know, the pimps say hoes come going because you have to be married to the game, not to any female. Ring or no ring, you're married to the game. And part of the, this, this understanding of pimpology is understanding that women are married to the game. And that's why men are much more likely after a tough divorce to get to commit suicide in a woman. Because he thought that she was committed to him. She thought that she was, he thought she was married to him. Maybe on paper. But the true nature of a woman, she's married to the game. And that's why they can jump from pillar to post. Accepting female nature. She's never married to you. She's married to the game. And so pimpology is the counterbalance of that. Game starts with women. And they're married to that because they created it. So the man with the most knowledge is also married to the game. So she could come. You could have a bitch five minutes. <laughs> but you still married to the game. And on an esoteric level, a man should be married to his inner anima. Never allowing a woman to become his anima. Because now you're allowing your essential nature to be replaced by that egoic bitch that used to be your girlfriend or your wife. And that's why men off themselves after tough relationships. Because they're now looking at themselves the way she sees them. Do you see? As opposed to the way your inner feminine sees you. Hey, what's up, folks? This is a quick one. You know, I was perusing my uh, my subscriptions, and uh, I always stop in and listen to Warren and Lance, my, uh, my favorite pimp, let's put it that way, okay? Uh, because he gets deep. Basically, he talks about the underlying structure of the game. And uh, the piece that you just heard was um, him actually breaking it down, man. I mean, breaking it down. I had to pause and give my uh, my little brother kudos because he actually encapsulated within that little minute and a half, actually encapsulated male-female relationship. I mean, encapsulated perfectly especially when it comes to mating and marriage. That feeling of romantic love is the purview of the woman. And when men cross over into that, we basically you're at a woman's mercy. That is her domain, not yours. And your belief is that that's your woman. And that woman is with you and she's married to you. And as my brother said, you know, Warren B said that she's not married to you. She's married to the game. What does he mean by game? He's not talking about prostitution. He's not talking about the street life. He's not talking about the diesel side of the fence. No, he's talking about the institution, the marriage, the, the nest, the cultural trappings. That's the game. And her children, her nest, her ambitions, all that stuff is tied to you because you are a means to an end. Not that she wouldn't be a good wife, not that she wouldn't be a good mother, not that she wouldn't love you or even be faithful to you or submissive to you. She's submissive to you, not necessarily because of you but because of what you represent as far as the game is concerned. And when you are no longer that man or no longer serve that means, then she will move on to the next person that fulfills the needs, uh, the pieces that's needed to play the game. You look at all these alpha males getting divorced and being taken to the cleaners. So it doesn't matter if you that nigga or that dude 
you are a means to an end. And that's okay. Because so is she. That's how come Warren said you to be up on it. You have to be also married to the game. And you have to accept a woman's nature for what it is. And a lot of guys don't because you buy into the matrix idea of what marriage and relationship and family is supposed to be about. She is a means to an end, just like you are. She has the children. She nurtures the children. She takes care of the children. She takes care of the house. She has a responsibility as part of a player in the game. That is her. That's her, that's her responsibility. You're supposed to get the wife and mother that fits your needs and your mission. As Ron was saying early on a video of, that he just put up about being a select man and selecting the right woman. She is a means to an end just like you are because it is a game. It is a cultural game. And as he says, too many men uh, after a tough divorce commit suicide because they thought that this woman would be by his side forever. Now, in the old days, it would because back then that was a game. That was the means to an end. That was the, the object of the game. Now, when the game changes as it has, it's no longer so. And even back then, if you were the piece that didn't fit, according to the game, you got moved or you got taken out, pushed aside for somebody that fit better. Because back then, the game, everybody knew the game. The game was a lot more plain, a lot more obvious. It wasn't sugar-coated as it is now. It's not wrapped in uh, glaze and... in frosting and all kind of sprinklies. You know, it was just raw cupcake. You know, it was the game. And I think a lot of guys need to realize that because a lot of guys get hurt because I'm hearing them online. They're looking for the, the sprinkles and the frosting and the sugar coating and stuff like that and not realizing that the game is the game. And the cultural instruments that we use to get to an end, which is basically... Uh, survival and reproduction. That is the object of the game and everything else are just the pieces that we move around to get there. Now, if you can find a feeling of love, you can find a feeling of contentment, you can find a feeling of accomplishment, then that is a life well lived. But never take your eye off what the goal of the game actually is because that will give you the underlying structure, the underlying meaning of what you're doing. That's like I might have no problem with women, young women talking about securing the bag. That's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to get the best man for them according to their ability. And a lot of chicks out there aren't worth getting the bag. They're not worth the bag at all. So they can't get the best man or they can't get the man that they want because they're not worthy of it. And often they do get the best man that they can get. Same thing with the guys. There is a ceiling by getting the best woman that you can get. And there is a certain amount of work that you have to do to get that, whether it's, it's not always money, it's not always sex, it's not always personality, it's not always love. There's different aspects of the game and the different pieces of the different attributes that you can bring to actually play this game according to the needs of that woman same thing with her she's got to fit your needs a lot of women roll around thinking that they deserve the bag no you don't you deserve what you're capable of acquiring you deserve what you can get according to your abilities and a lot of black women, a lot of women, period, but a lot of black women suck as far as their ability to secure the bag. If securing the bag is getting married, a lot of black women, a lot of women, period, are woefully inadequate. Woefully inadequate. And a lot of dudes out here are woefully ignorant of the game. Because I hear it. What women are supposed to. Women are supposed to. They're supposed to do this, supposed to do that, blah, 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 blah. The game is the game. And women will only do what they're allowed to do. And men will only do what women allow them to do. The negotiation, 
the coming together, the playing of the game. And a lot of men, a lot of us, are too focused on the woman, or what the woman thinks, what she feels. Doesn't matter what she feels. Is that the best woman for you? And if she's not the best woman for you, you need to pass on her. I don't care how fat her ass is, how big her titties are, or how nasty she she appears to say uh, she's gonna be towards you, exclusively towards you. She doesn't fit, she doesn't fit. And a lot of guys are low key romantic about their dating and mating relationships. And then when they don't get that feeling or the romantic feeling like it is on the Hallmark card, then they get disappointed. Instead of evaluating that woman properly with knowledge like men are supposed to. We don't we don't evaluate women by feeling. We would like to feel because we do have feelings. We would like her to make us feel good. But at the end of the day, you have to use your intellect, your logic to evaluate her. Men come to the table as far as love through knowing. I know that I love her. I know that I want to be with her. Women come to the table with feeling because that is their realm. When a man comes to the table talking about how they feel about a woman and that's the only thing that they say, I know he's in trouble because he's going to ignore everything else about her. How a man feels about a woman, how a woman makes you feel is only just the beginning. But ultimately, when you make a decision about where that woman's going to be in your life, you got to push all that aside and do it about knowing does she serve your purpose your mission what you need in your life and then vice versa what is what purpose do you serve in hers because that is something that a lot of guys ignore what purpose do you serve in her life and you better know that you better know what place you are in her life a lot of guys get fooled by that And then you wind up miscalculating and then you wind up with a broken heart and a broken psyche and damaged. Instead of like Warren said, realizing that she's married to the game. She's married to her purpose and her mission, just like you're supposed to be. Stop being a pawn in the game and be a player in the game. Stop being wedded to the feeling of that woman or that woman that's outside of your head and get wedded to the anima or the woman inside your head, the one that won't betray you, the one that will look out for you, the one that will tap you on the shoulder and tell you what's going on. Because her mission is your mission, where if you place that feeling or that animal on the outside of yourself into that other woman on the outside, then her mission becomes your mission. Play the game right. Play the game fair. Play the game with knowledge. Play the game with amoral pragmatism and look at reality as it is. Drop that blue pill, pick up the red one and go for it. With that, I'm going to jump off here. This is BGS out and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.